watch the uh, introduction video on how to install Wireshark on, on a Windows 10 box. So here's the thing that I'm going to be really kind of curious about. This is an absolutely flat box. There should be no discussion or talking to anybody. It's on a virtual box. Um, it is attached to the network, but I have no idea who 10. Dot zero dot whomever is. But it looks like we're getting a lot of assembled PDUs. Um, shouldn't be seeing anything. But it is kind of interesting who am I talking to that's on non-routable class A addresses and why am I building things together because this should be again it's on a virtual box it shouldn't be uh, doing anything. So this destination so oh wow okay so it is it's talking to a lot of people. It's not running anything it's just kind of doing its own thing so we should probably find out who 20479179921 is. And excuse me why I use Internet Explorer here for a minute. Or Edge. Ooh, I'm going to use Edge. So what I'm curious about is who is um, an SC Cup 13.13.107.4.50. So of course, I'm just kind of curious again to who. Oh, really? DNS lookup by website. All right, looks like I'm going to have to find a who is. Who is on this one? Um, there we go. Who is .net? Um, just, again, it's just going to be kind of curious as to who is talking to who. Again, um, 1474, it's a HTTP port. But all this stuff started up 13.107.4.50. So who is that? Yeah, I'm just gonna. No, I don't want domain. I want by IP address. Oh, good lord! It's one of those crazy things where you can't figure it out. Man, when did who is? Who is by IP address? Who is? Look up by IP address. God, oh, I hate it when websites do that. They totally screw your day up. Wow, they totally changed who is. That's horrible. Man. Man. I hate it when they do that. Really do. Good gravy. I hate it when they do that. Search. Okay, there we go. Oh man! All right. So you're seeing part of the problem with Windows 10 right now. Um, this is actually turning into something really interesting. So I again, this is kind of one of those crazy things where um, you try to do the right thing and then boom, all of a sudden you are in la la land when it comes to doing stuff because they change things. Well, that change is okay, but again, kind of interesting. So who is 13107450? And again, I'm just running a few things here. So I'm just curious, who all? Oh, it's Microsoft. All right, so I'm talking to Microsoft. Well, all right, so there's at least one Microsoft IP address. Didn't realize they were using 13. Uh, odd that it's on an internal destination. It's not, it looks almost like VPN traffic. But why am I talking to 13? All right, so it's 204. Wow, man, why are we doing so many PDUs on this? This is kind of interesting. Um, all right, so now I want search by IP address. I want. Man, this is just a ton of honking traffic. This is just crazy stuff. This is a crazy amount of traffic. Two, four, come on. Oh, good lord. Wireshark is killing me. So I need 204.7. Nine. <laughs> All right. All right. This is just going to annoy me here. Wireshark keeps on updating, and I don't want it to update the way. 
wonder if that belongs to Microsoft too. ECN network, Microsoft. Man, okay, so it looks like we're dying, doing a lot of talking to Microsoft here. Uh, let's go ahead and push this back by time. So, okay, we are talking to a bunch of Microsoft. Now, I wonder what I'm saying to Microsoft. Of course, I don't know, but ports 1474, 1402, 1438. That's interesting port numbers. So, yeah, no, this is kind of um, interesting. Because there's absolutely no reason for this application, it TLS, okay. So now we're sending some kind of data to them. Oh, good lord. And it's over HTTPS, that's cool. Um, length is only 54 bits. Wow, what am I sending to them over TLS? What kind of application data am I sending to Microsoft? Because uh, I would lay odds then if we have 216. There may be an update going on in the background. That would make sense. Um, send. Wow, okay, this is just a ton of garbage. This really is just kind of interesting. So when they talk about what all are we talking to when we start sending it out, um, wow, uh, this is interesting. Uh, we get some, some interesting things going along here that I have absolutely no idea what this computer is talking about. We were passing certificates along, we're responding. We're doing all the things. So we're getting our TLS servers upgraded. We're talking on port 443. We're sending data. We are sending data to a ton of honking destinations that make absolutely no sense. But this is a stock fresh out of the box install. I wonder what those red lines were. What were we resetting? What were we sending data to fast for? Um, wow. Okay, cool. All right. So it's fresh out of the box. Windows 10 um, doing its thing. Um, talking to a whole lot of people. Um, an encrypted alert. What is an encrypted alert? Wow, there's just tons of stuff in here I haven't seen a whole lot of. So we get some resets, we get some acknowledgements. Um, but wow, we are really just dropping all over the place um, all this stuff. And I don't know why we would be talking this much um, when I have no data coming off of this other than what we had going on with, uh, with our searches. So I'm not too worried about anything that's like that. But yeah, fresh out of the box. Let's go ahead and let's stop this. And then let's just let this thing sit here for a while and see what happens. I don't want to save, continue without saving. I just kind of want to see what we've got here. So let's just let it sit. So we're just going to let this thing sit here and let it go. Okay, DHCP version 6. Um, that's interesting. I don't have any DHCP version 6 running. It shouldn't be soliciting anything. Um, so we obviously are going to have to go in and turn off um, some of the th some of the settings on the IP address when we get going here in terms of how that NIC is configured just fresh out of the box. Uh, so this seems to have slowed down a whole lot, which is really good. But it's interesting. It's looking for IC. Oh man, it's trying to ICMP the subnet mask. <laughs> I think I need to turn off uh, DHCP or or um, IPv6 on this thing. Uh, get single tile summary alias experience tenant. I have uh, some kind of new service running. Al news each connection keep alive. Okay, keep alive are okay. I can deal with keep alive. So again, I've got nothing running. Let's go ahead and make sure that we shut off edge. All right, we're not even going to worry about that. So standard query. So we have some DNS stuff going on uh, for Bing. OK, Bing, that makes sense. MSN, that makes sense. Um, Pre-install region. There shouldn't be anything pre-installing. All right, and then we're back to some other fun things. Um, BC, we got some scripting going on in the background. Some other things, we got our key exchange going back on again. Yeah, no, so this is kind of interesting. Look at all this stuff. Well, this explains why when I actually have Windows 10 on one of my laptops, um, one that I rarely ever use, um, I plugged it in for about an hour and a half and used two and a half gigs of data, and I'm still trying to figure out what I did to get two and a half gigs of data, but it looks like there's a ton of stuff running in the background on this thing. 
So interesting. So when we talk about security and we talk about how we're going to do things, we can obviously see that sometimes there's an issue here or there with what comes out of the box fresh um, install on this. So we get our see our real tech and, and other things. Um, interesting that I'm just using a class A because I don't use class A on my network. Um, I really don't. But it looks like fresh out of the box, we need to turn some things off. But let's talk about how to turn things off in Windows 10 next.